basically it's a 3D printer where as many parts as possible are printed by the machine. The, the first one that we made, um, obviously we had to buy the parts from someone else because it's a bit chicken and egg. If you don't have a printer, how do you make the parts for a printer? Um, so we actually got those off eBay. Uh, a couple of years ago and since then we've made several machines by printing the parts off um, on the one we've made um, and putting together and we, we've got a, a whole family tree now we've got um, parents and grandparents and uh, siblings and um, yeah there's two main plastics that RepRap uses one is ABS um, which is the stuff that Lego is made out of um, it comes is a kind of petrochemical um, plastic and the other one that we use is PLA which is polylactic acid so it's a um, cornstarch based it's, it's really amazing and the, the enthusiasm it's kind of infectious you, you, you print something and immediately you're thinking how can I improve it how I, or even as you're building the machine how can I make this part a bit better so it's, it's very engaging It's like um, I'm old enough to remember before we had um, really colour photocopying or um, uh, certainly you didn't have a printer in your own home and uh, it, it transformed everybody's workflow because you could just print stuff out straight away. I think this is going to do exactly the same thing. Possibly you won't have one in every home but you, you'll have like you used to have um, colour photocopiers on those street corners. You'll have 3D printers or possibly the colour photoshops will start stocking 3D printers and you'll just go to the same place and just get 3D things. So at one level I think the, uh, the electronics world is going to see a big shift and the ability to make custom devices easily, cost effectively, uh, satisfies a need for individuality that the, the previous century of you can have it any colour as long as it's black to paraphrase Hen um, Henry, T for Henry Ford and his Model T, um, I, I, I think that demand is there and it can be realised by people making um, their own devices, their own objects, etc. Um, and I see some similarities uh, now between the early days of the internet and the early days of 3D printing. Um, you know, the sort of revolutionary impacts that could have on uh, the way people regard manufacturing. Uh, and I think it's, you know, 20 years' time we could be looking back and thinking, wow, it's a bit different now to the way it was 20 years ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs>